Hello, fellow weird people out there. Hi. My husband is here too. He says hi. Oh, I'm saying hi back to you because I'm a weird Oh, well, hi. <laughs> anyway, hope everyone's doing all right. Sorry it's so late this time. It's been one of those weeks. Well, I usually do these like these are usually posted between you know eight. What time it is? Well, I usually post between like eight and nine, so I'm actually late because it's like ten thirty. Anyway, what are we reading for today? Uh, Ace of Cups Reverse. I am not sure. Please elaborate. Um, I want to feel like an apology wasn't given to someone who might be a stuck up bitch, but I'm not entirely sure about that, so we're going to find out. And there goes the monetization. <laughs> Anyway, for everyone who's new to this channel, welcome. There went some on the floor, as always. This resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it, because it's just a card game, right? After all, these things are only for the time being, you know. Whether it comes up now or later really doesn't make a difference. And plus, it can only follow through as long as you follow through with its uh, path. Right? Right. So, just boop your nose and away you goes. Let's see. I'm just laying them out. I'm sorry for being so quiet. Just looking at them. I don't know. Those first two cards just confused me a little bit. Prince of Pentacles, Reverse, Two of Swords, Reverse, Strength, Reverse, Four of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Six of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, with the vibration being Two of Cups, Reverse. <coughs> so yeah, someone might owe something to somebody who's kind of a bitch. I'm not sure, but if you are that bitch, they owe you something, but they're not giving it, okay? Like, they're not delivering it at all in order to fix the broken heart. Like, the like, Prince of Pentacles right here, he's writing away, stalling, but he's still looking back like, oh man, I still care. But, they, but they're stuck in between two decisions. They're of two minds and they don't know what to do. Emotionally, they feel more restricted than they are upholding something. And the root of that is because they're still focused on a coupling right here while not really focusing so much on themselves anymore. They got this broken heart, but they're not doing anything to deliver to it. Or because it was an earth sign that showed up earlier. They might be expecting that Earth sign, Queen of Pentacles, Prince of Pentacles, both reverse. Uh, one's like really stuck up their own you know what. And this dude is just not delivering something, but he is slightly focused on the image of a person. It's kind of like a. You come here. You can kind of see the uh, hologram coming out of the box, but it's very faint. So it's like, ah, uh, they're kind of on his mind, but not really. Like, this person's trying to find a way of, like, kinda moving the calmer waters, but they also feel claustrophobic, stuck in a cave with the Nine of Pentacles, and it's all because, like, there's a separation here for some reason. It's 
So maybe they feel like this earth sign doesn't really love them so much. It could be, or it just could be somebody with the energy. One of the two. You take your pick. Either way, someone's stuck up, but they still were owed something. I don't know. But it seems like the person's... Like, I, I don't know. It's weird. It's like it's not like she is owed an apology because the Ace of Cups was behind her. It was to her back. So she doesn't even see that an apology isn't even coming. You know? But at the same time, she's so wrapped up in her own stuff that it's not even a focus, I guess. If you will. So let's see. Prince of Pentacles. It could be the same querent that we picked up with the first two cards. Oh, quite a few is actually already overturned. Um, running to expressing a message... Jesus Christ. Okay, that's kind of vicious. Alright. What this, uh, definitely someone dealing with an earth sign, or this is the queer in themselves. Uh, what they are not delivering is a message or expression that they are not happy, and that is why this relationship is done. Or they're not happy that the relationship is done. One of the two. But I, don't, but it feels more like they don't, like they're running away from it too. You know, the birds flying towards the sun, the uh, panther in the page of coins is running away, both from the two of cups right here. Like this person is, um, they aren't delivering anything, and what they would deliver is just be like, I'm not happy with this. So, I don't know what you expect of me right now. Uh, two of Swords, mind you, I don't think... Like, I don't think that this Earth sign is the queer it. Like, I don't feel that way. Like, I mean, like, this person had, like, the... Queen of Pentacles earlier had her back turned to this, and I just feel like this isn't her. This is somebody who's watching her, I guess? Paying attention to her? Oh, there's another one. How many of these were overturned without me knowing? I don't know. This Two of Swords that here, not ending things with death and not being shy and timid about ending things with the Eight of Cups. They don't want to be sh- Okay. So, is that the issue, or is that the choice? Not letting things die, or not being intimidated in ending it? Like, they're both kind of contradictory. Kind of, but I always feel like this person's with the Eight of Cups is a little bit more open because of the emotions. Like, all of the emotions drained out, so it's just like, meh, I don't care, I'll just do this openly. But death is like kind of like not trying to change things, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's two choices. They have no idea which one's the right answer. This, uh, queer is really fucking confused. This keeps happening. It always feels like it's one person, but then it, it, but then it turns into, like, the person who is, uh, distressed about them, I guess, you know? It's like they kind of show up like, oh no, I do... This is how I'm feeling or whatever. It's just like they gotta say something and it's just like, oh, okay, well, whatever. Let's see what you gotta say. I guess it's important. If you gotta, like, focus on a person so much that, like, it brings them out in your reading, I guess. That's usually how it goes, I suppose. When you boop on the nips. Alright. The Prince of Pentacles Reverse. This person has no idea where the fuck to go when it comes to this earth sign. And they, they're they lost. They don't know how to work their GPS and they're lost. And they're just, they can't even find directions. They ain't got service. They are completely lost in the sauce and the shit. I feel like this queer thought that this earth sign, whoever they were, was going to run up and tell them that they're done in the relationship. Which I think would have helped with this heartbreak, but they never showed up. So now this person's just like, what the fuck am I supposed to, where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to be doing right now? I have no clue. Cause no one actually came and told me. It's like this person, um, 
It's like there was a... It's like a lack of closure. Like, they wanted somebody to say something, but since they didn't, they're kind of lost on what to do, or what happened, or where the fuck they're going. Something like that. With his two of swords down here, there's the Queen of Pentacles again. She's looking at her shit, her reflection in that pentacle. Quite proud of that pentacle, right? Huh. Was someone more fo focused on the coin than the relationship? What the fuck is that? Because she's already showed up, but she's upright right here. Okay, what? Hold up. What is this? The decision... Not to end things or to end things boldly was still a mystery. I feel like this querent was prepared for a confrontation. Like they were, like with especially with the cherry reverse, because that's you. Because like typically that's after. Uh, this is the after deck, not the actual rider weight. So it's like. During, if I could find that mother, I'm not gonna find him in all 72 cards. That'd be awesome. I doubt it. So, duh, duh, and I'm and I'm, and I'm doing it anyway. we we don't give up in this camp, kids. We don't. <laughs> we just keep going. Oh my god! I swear, if he's at the bottom, because I'm not editing this. There he is, he was at the bottom. Damn it! Every time, I swear, I need to start following my instinct a little bit. Alright, so this is the regular chariot, and this is the after deck, right? When he's like this, it's like, I like to think that he went into a mosh pit and just started swinging his arms during the whole like intermission stage. Like people are just standing there actually having a good chat after a good mosh. All of a sudden this one dude just starts walloping people and he's doing a good job and he's knocking people's heads in and there's blood on the floor and there are women screaming and gnashing their teeth. You know, just somebody who makes a scene uh, because they can't find their way forward. This person now, after all of this kind of charged unyielding, unrelenting need for confrontation, I feel like, now they just look all fucking lost and shit. They're just like, oh, well, what do I do now? Who's asking can I beat next? Right? And down here, it's like two of swords. What they what were they gonna do? Not end things? Or were they just gonna be bold and cut it off? And now it's like a mystery. Um, because this Queen of Pentacles started focusing on her Pentacles instead of the relationship. So now the shit's gone babice. Like, the judgment's been lifted up. It's, it doesn't even matter. Those who, um, were chosen were taken up. Or now somebody sees things for what they really are. And they got the right judgment call about how all this stuff went down. Square wanted the confrontation with the nerd sign. Yikes, okay. That's not very practical. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, we won't say anything. We'll just, like, straight beat your ass if it's about disrespect you won, but, you know. Like, like most of us aren't gonna argue with you if it's for real. That shit's annoying. It's, like, emotional and shit. Ew. <laughs> Okay, thoughts and feelings. The strength card reverse. Leo's card. Um, but it's reverse, so think of vices, lusts, temptations, things that look pretty. Um, but there's a lot more restriction in this, and it feels like someone's restricting that kind of like party flare glow right now. It's like. I don't know, it's like, it's like the bad side of getting attention. And someone's trying to, um, hold themselves back from that, I feel like. Um, 
trying to use their imaginations and abilities to either earn some coin or take care of some business or just cooperate with people on like bigger adventures right because something didn't end correctly in the thoughts and feelings and that caused you to lose the coin okay oh because you broke Oh, you don't have, like, this querent might not have the money to spend. Oh, because the Queen of Pentacles was the one who was making the money. She's the one who was focused on the coin. Um, she might have even given coin to the relationship to keep it going, to resuscitate it with the judgment right here and let the souls get pulled up or whatever. But it's like... Nah! And now, like, this person just doesn't have that situation. Yeah, the relationship is dead, and now it's going to heaven where it belongs. It's over now. She's more worried about her coin. Um, this Four of Pentacles, which is the root of the thoughts and feelings, um, this queer is really focused on how the relationship is to them rather than putting a lot of value in themselves right god damn it's the queen of coins again queen of pentacles she was bliss she was comforted capricorn taurus virgo someone is this where it's like stuck on a earth sign a hard like there are pentacles everywhere <laughs> like it, this bitch is just all over my goddamn board many a time Dude, she was able to preserve and endure. Being traffic and fine? Oh, this was a bad relationship. Okay. That's why... Okay, so this person is pining over... Yeah, that's why they were expecting the conversation. They're separated anyway. But it's like... They expected something to be said. But nothing came. So now they're just like, what the fuck do I do? Where do I go? Why is this earth sign not delivering? Mind you, it doesn't have to be like a love relationship or anything like that. It could be any sorts of relationship. Like, fuck, your dog could be an earth sign. Your goldfish. That rock that's been in your yard for like 20 years, Ed, for some reason was put there one day. But you don't know where it came from. Like, it, like it take it in everything with a pound of salt, right? But here, it's definitely like someone just... It's almost like... It, it almost feels like, you know... And mind you, queer, you could be this queen of pentacles, I don't know, and this is how this person kind of made you feel like. Like, maybe you were only necessary because you had the coin and you're able to produce shit, because that's what the queen of pentacles does. Um, she can do her own shit. She's her own woman, you know? Like, and if she was invested in this relationship. Mm hmm. Because I feel like this person really wanted this Queen of Pentacles to offer something in order to get this relationship going again. And resurrect it almost. But instead, everybody just went to heaven. Everything died. Everything died. It's no longer there. Memories, friends, family, foe, shit like that, right? another one for real okay two of cups reverse end of a relationship to end some turmoil and disorder because it was nuts um and nothing was changing with the eight of wands reverse and nothing was symmetrical and poise everything was just out of whack you that's pretty much the gist of it I'm very, I'm like really curious. I really hope you'll tell me what the, th what the last, I really want to know what the last straw was. I'm probably going to be that bitch today. That's what we're doing today. <laughs> All right. Strength reverse. Unfairness with Libra's card. Justice reverse. This one jumped for me. And yeah, marriage over. Everyone's moving. Bye. Ooh. This square doesn't think that it's fair that somebody left. Just packed up all their shit and took the fuck off. They even took the goddamn cows. 
They're riding on a carriage. Everyone looks like they're happy. That bitch ain't thrown the bouquet yet, but she needs to hurry up. Like, uh, we, everyone needs a turn, damn it. You know? I mean, we should just throw it out a bunch, because everyone's got a leaf, actually. My apologies for wands, bitch. Like, you carry on with your awesome bouquet. But anyway, <laughs> it's just like... It, it, like, this queerant feels like there was an injustice done when this person just took off. Four of uh, pentacles down here. And that's what they're restricting themselves about, too. It's just kind of like, you know, it was completely unfair that this person just left me to whatever. Like, who are they to just pick up and leave? And it's just kind of like, you know, personally, it's, it's like, who tries to convince, who tries to keep someone from leaving? Because I feel like that's a thing in here that, um, I'm kind of picking up like this person wanted a confrontation and I think they wanted to argue well like I don't know it's just it's just she keeps showing up she shows up with the money she hands it to the relationship she shows up here she's bliss and comfort she shows up at the beginning but she's all pissed off and she ain't even caring about an apology hell this she could be this bitch up here and like ain't coming to deliver nothing that this person was expecting at all. This person was expecting the page, like, uh, which is kind of like, you know, the queen showing up everywhere. How do you, how are you going to look at the queen like she's a page? Like, that's kind of like, hmm. Yeah, someone's just, like, especially with that ace of coin, there's so much coin, but it's all dwindling. Like, it goes down in numbers whenever they show up, you know? Highest one so far, other than the queen, is, you know, nine right here. That, but that, that, that has turned out, and now, that's not being very promising. And I am stuttering, so. Four of wands. Emperor reverse, some, yeah. Well, we, I already knew that. Someone was, tr like, Emperor Reverse, Control Freak. Someone liked to kick their fucking pet ram. Which I think is what they saw this Queen of Pentacles as. This Earth sign. Yeah, that's what started this new cycle. Or that's what they believed would be how the beginning started. It's like, I have my sword, my cup, my wand, my pentacle. I have everything I need right here, including this stupid goat I get to kick in the head every once in a while when I feel frustrated about, like, GTA 5 and losing that bank robbery, right? Kind of like some childish-ass energy. And then, like, they're all mad and thinking there was injustice um, laid out because someone was allowed to leave. That, like, that kind of bothers me a little bit. I want to know I what was the last straw, damn it. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Go on. Mm. Someone turned their back on somebody else when they were drowning. Like, totally disowned, I feel like. And now it's like they have to fight that monster every night when they sleep. It, like, it's a guilt trip thing. Oh, you are quite loud. Hello. That's a little better. Okay. But yeah, it's like they let a person drown, and now it's like they're suffering from, like, a guilt trip. A monster that haunts them. And it's like... They didn't say anything about it. They just let the water pour through the, on the ground instead. It's just like, I'm gonna bathe in the clean water. This water dirty. It doesn't need to go anywhere. But then, like, shit started sprouting, right? Like, if you actually look at this picture, her water is causing things to grow all around her. And think of that as bad seeds, right? Like, this relationship ended because of some, like... Is someone just not giving a shit that somebody else was suffering and now this person's got a lot of uh, stuff in the back of their head and that's just the beginning of what's going to grow. I feel 
think confession's necessary. Jesus. Or someone just needs Jesus. Like, mm, Or something. I don't know. Thor. Uh. Pazuzu. Whatever you want to go to, man. Like, Hecate. Hecate is cool. She mocks me a lot, but she's cool. Uh, so let's see. Three of Swords right here. Someone's heartbroken. Queen of Wands, a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. She is drunk as hell. She could not theorize. She could not calculate. Her web looks like a fucking mess. She's been drinking that scissor and smoking the tweeds. You know? Yeah. Ooh, this person. Is this queer it? Okay, what? I don't understand. That one... Okay, so the... Okay, hold on. Drop one. Okay, this query was, an expect, was expecting an apology. Um, but I feel like they were... They owed somebody else an apology. It was like with their... They're broken hearted because... How do I explain this? Like here is the ten of pentacles. This is upright. Ever all the other these all of these other pentacles are either dwindling in their numbers, or they're reverse or negative, as you could say. Sorry, Murphy, my bad. This is the only pentacle that's really been something to um, cherish, other than like the Queen of Pentacles, because throughout this read, she's been upright this entire fucking time. In the beginning, she was reversed, though, which is, like, I'm still kind of questioning that, because it's like, why is she upright in all of this? But not at the beginning, because I know this isn't her. And if it is her, she's dealing with a whack job a little bit, but it's like... Like, okay, so this is the treasure. Then we have the Queen of Wands here. She wasn't able to calculate... Some sneaky shit backfiring... That I feel it was supposed to get her out of some sort of tortured and crucified state. And that was the treasure. That was the, the thing that would have made someone just tickle their pickle, right? Make them go, Gah! just happy and shit. With unearthly mystical. Like someone wanted to be like, gotcha. But I don't... But... Okay. Yeah, I really feel like someone thought that, um... Okay, hold on. <coughs> okay, alright. I understand now. That works. Uh, this Queen of Wands? Because, like, that was, like, really confusing for a minute for me. Because this is, like... Alright, seven of swords, but why did it go to the nine? Because the nine's already over here. <coughs> like... Distress, confusion, this person was playing a game, but she wasn't smart enough to calculate getting caught up in her own shit and becoming, like, tortured and crucified. In a way, I think, like... They thought that they were doing a lot of strategy which didn't work in their favor. That they thought was going to get them out of this tortured and crucified state. But instead, now they just keep slaying the same fucking demon every night? Okay. That took me a minute. Oh my goodness. My bad. Usually I get these not too bad. That one actually, like, fucked me up a little bit. Because it's just like... Mmm. Alright. Six of Swords. Trying to move on the calmer waters. The Emperor! Oh, look who it is. Okay. Hello, how are you? Overlord, a supremacy. Somewhere where they feel like they can control. Um, that might not happen the way they think it will.
They want control. But it's like they don't want to communicate how they're going to make a move. Like they're going to make a decision. It's going to be bold. It's going to be surprising. But it's like... They're running away from bitch in the wagon over here. They're also running away from all of this shit that they're dealing with. Um, in order to just skip out on heaven to uh, be the overlord and emperor. Like they want a reason to leave I feel like or just deal with this situation but I feel like they'd rather just I don't know. It's like they'll only do it if they know that they're in a situation where they can completely control the narrative. Is that really really justified to say? Nine of Pentacles Reverse. They're stuck in the cave and they want this shit to be done and over with. Um, they don't see any value in feeling this way anymore. It's like they're stuck. Stuck terribly. Oh! Because somebody didn't fall for it a lore. Could be Capricorn. I mean, like, uh, Queen of Pentacles has been all over the board. Easily. Uh, don't know, though. So... But it's definitely something where, like, someone didn't fall for a trap. Or something isn't as alluring as it had been. Like, maybe there was magnetism. Maybe there was something that was drawing in this devil energy to get somebody to want to be involved. But, like, now it's like, it, it, what's the point? You know? Three swords. Ugh. Yeah, they want to pack up their... I just don't feel like they're going to. I think they just want to sit around and be like, Oh, well, maybe I can get something else out of this. Whatever they're trying to do. They don't, I feel, want to take responsibility. And they're trying to make, have, or make other people make decisions for them. Or they just don't have the mental finesse to actually make the decisions for themselves. Kind of like, you know, like, they're sitting blind and shit, but in reality, like, that blindfold sheer, they can see who's doing what easily. I feel like they're just wasting their time and resources trying to get other people to do stuff for them. Or to come to decisions for them. Or, like, make their minds calmer, I guess. You know, like... Once again, Nine of Pentacles didn't offer dick. You know? Um, and now they got a monkey hanging on there just holding shit up too. And he's friends with, like, the devil now. And they're both just like, hey. 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 Yeah, dude. Hey. Yeah. Just fucking around, keeping the wheel from spinning. Nobody feels like they can go home yet. Their parents ain't shown up. They want to be happy and have somebody to be happy with. You know, let those swords fall so their heart can heal. But unfortunately, like, Nine of Pentacles once again, which is at the very end. Um, they're kind of in a situation where either they feel disenfranchised in self, even after all this time. Uh, maybe their stuff is wilting all around them, like she's pretending to be happy even though, like, you know, she's now, like, rent to own or whatever. Or this could be someone who's just, like, trying to repair what it is that they lost as best as they can, despite the fact that they don't have very much. Uh, well, you know, like, they're, they're not... I don't think they're taking it too well. You know, not as well as what you would think. Just pouring their cup out of it. And then, suddenly, acting shocked, having a, a look of shock on their face, even though they should have saw this coming with their intuition. Six of a sword. Trying to look for a way to get out of this, right? Oh man, this music's really jumpy. Let's see. Oh, three on that one. Uh, yeah, six of swords. Shit's gonna die. Someone needs to take with the, what little they can. They left too much back, and now the wheel stalled. Like, yeah. This six of swords right here? Like, what, the, what did I say for this? What did I say? 
person like wants to be overlord they're avoiding communication honestly uh, or even reaching out making bold decisions just to avoid dealing with all of this nonsense over here which I feel like is everything that they're keeping inside like they only show so much and are expressing so much but it's like over here it's where all the exposure is coming from it's like they're guilty they know that they did some shit that was jake they abandoned somebody when they shouldn't have knowing that it was a terrible thing to do and now they got like a, dra a dragon and a monkey hanging off their shit right and now it's like it's coming to an end death just come and killing everything um there was no point in leaving all those other pentacles around because you know nothing's gonna happen at this point Like, this, like, I feel like this person thought they could take just the one pentacle or just take what little they could and, and leave the rest to, like, rot or whatever. But they're blocked by the Wheel of Fortune. Like, nothing's gonna move forward from this. It's like, alright, you take a little bit, but that's, like, you don't, are you sure you don't want all seven pentacles? Are you sure? Are you absolutely sure, says Death as he's walking behind. Like, just lurking. You know, like, are, are you absolutely sure you just want that one pentacle? Because nothing's going to be happening for you for a while. This is like... Mm. Nine of pentacles. Yeah, this person's just trying to dump all their emotions. Just be like, I don't care. I don't care. But they really, really... <laughs> really 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 care <laughs> like how are you gonna dump me how are you gonna sit there and, like dump all your emotions and then in the next scene jump off the fucking ridge and just start swinging you know it's like as soon as somebody mentions like your name it's immediately like you know they want to throw hands like look at everyone else just shocked and be like is this dude insane and like ah. Oh. What was that anime called? It was just, like it was paranoid something or or para something like like paranoid psycho or something. I can't remember. But like the way the series went, it was like there was somebody who was riding around on rollerblades with a metal baseball bat, and they called him Little Slugger. And what he did, Little Slugger would ride up to you and just crack you right in the head with this fucking metal bat. Just out of nowhere. But it always ended up serving to help the people somehow, which is just kind of like... I don't know how that works. I wish I could remember what that anime was called. But that's what it kind of reminds me of. It's like someone just totally went little, little slugger on some folk just to help them out just a little bit. But it's really not helping them out as much as it is just them trying to cope with the fact that like they're trying to dump their cup out. But look, they it, like this thing is pouring the fucking river, and yet there's still a bunch in here. They had a lot of emotions, and they're all they're trying to fight that stuff off. Which I don't think it's entirely healthy. Yeah, you know, I'm not I'm not their mom, so what what the fuck do I know? Uh, all right, I'll draw like three more, and then we're done, and then I'm going probably gonna go to sleep or something or read on the two. Just three more. Alright, first card. I just want to have a good ass time. Poor guys. Uh, wishes to come true. They want to make a wish, and all these cups together is like ten of cups and the two of cups. In order to mend their broken heart, they just want to go back to having a good time. So they don't feel this way anymore, I feel like. But I don't know. That's really up to them, honestly. They're the only ones who really know what to do that's best for them, you know. I'm only telling you what's up with them. Um, 
Now, if this person does want to combine these two and make the Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups, that happiness, that completion, that emotional satisfaction, with them and another person, I really feel like. Whether you care or not, I don't know. I'm just the messenger. Please do not shoot me, right? But they do want to mend their broken heart. I just don't know how they're going to do that. Honestly, it could be drugs. <laughs> like, it could be anything. But it's whatever will help them figure all this out so they don't have to deal with this kind of back and forth with themselves. Because honestly, I feel like this is more like them hitting themselves. Because the cup will drain the way it should. More than anything else. But, that's the end of the video. I love your faces. I'll see you later. Be good. Stay safe and stay suspicious because you never know who's a lizard. Alright, bye-bye.